Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Zach is Fine, uh, coming to you today with the best way to set up chat commands on Kick and actually any other platform uh, that Botrix supports. Uh, so Botrix has been around for a while and it's usually used on Trovo, although it can also be used on Twitch, YouTube, Discord, and now Kick. Uh, so Kick, or I'm sorry, Botrix has a beta program uh, where they can introduce chat commands and really all you have to do is apply in the Botrix Discord uh, for the beta program and then mod your and then mod Botrix uh, live in your kick chat. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to go through all of that. So first you need to go to Botrix.live and be logged out. Uh, and the reason for this is because they will ask you in your ticket that you open on the Botrix Discord what platform you're logging in with. Uh, so I used to do it through Trovo, uh, but for the purposes of the video, I did it through Twitch. So I authorized with Twitch. Um, so to actually get to their Discord, they have a link on the bottom right of their site. Uh, so before we do that, though, let's go ahead and log in with Twitch. Okay, uh, so also the Botrix panel is partly in Spanish, um, even though it's set to English, so it's it's a, it's a little weird, but you know, you get used to it. Um, all right, so first thing that you'll want to do when you get into the Botrix panel logged in through Twitch, you'll want to go to the, uh, the profile tab. It might say profile, it might say perfil. Um, so you would find kick and you'll see like one of these buttons next to the kick symbol. I already have mine linked, so you know it's not gonna it's not gonna show you the same thing it's showing me until you actually have it linked. Um, but click next to one of these buttons next to kick and it will show you a uh, it, it'll redirect you to the Botrix Discord. Uh, once you're in the Botrix Discord, then go ahead and set your roles. So there's a role selection channel. Uh, so you have to select a language and then select the platforms that you use. Uh, so me, I only selected uh, America and Kick. And then once you do that, then there's a premium support uh, channel. So if you click open a ticket in that channel, then they'll ask you uh, they'll ask you a couple of questions. What they asked me was what platform are you currently registered uh, on Botrix with, uh, apart from Kick? So because I logged in with Twitch, I told them Twitch. Um, and they also need your Twitch username and your Kick username if you're trying to use their Kick beta program. And then once they do whatever it is they need to do on their end, it's not something you uh, like you have access to in the panel until they give you access to it. Uh, but once they do, all you have to do is do slash mod Botrix live in your kick chat. And then, you know, for example, so like that, I already have it modded. So uh, that will complete the integration and then it will look like this. Um, so in your profile, uh, you will click on either one of these, you know, whichever one you want to actually manage. Uh, so for me, you know, it was kick, um, and to set up the chatbot commands, I went to chatbot and then commands. And then here I have all of the commands that I want on kick, uh, because only the kick, uh, logo or platform logo is, uh, not grayed out here. So if I wanted to edit the command, say, you know, to also be on Twitch, I could do that, uh, if Botrix was already connected to Twitch. Uh, but I only have kick selected here, so like only the Twitter command is going to work on kick. Uh, but also they have defaults for everything, which default to Trovo, um, or whatever you have set in Trovo. If that's not set, I don't think it'll do anything, so you might have to play around with that. Um, but I don't recall having anything set in Trovo anyway. Uh, but once you have that done, then you can add the commands and execute them. So, for example, I have Instagram as IG. And then it'll go ahead and print that out in chat for you. 
and it also has the variables so if you go here you can access the sender uh, you can put an at before the sender variable to mention them uh, you also have other variable commands uh, let's see you have the argument one as v1 and so on and so forth so you can build like um, user directed commands you know like if you want to do like birthday uh, or a birthday command and then the username and then you can use at and then the uh, v1 variable to reference the first argument that you put after the command and then the same for variable two and so on and so forth and then there's argument list variables like followers uh, or follower count sub count and there's actually also a list of commands that you can embed into a command and then it'll also have the name of the command in the command as well so um, you can have the stream uptime so that monitors uh, the stream uptime you have random or random integers random numbers uh, you can pick a random user you can pick a random choice from a list instead of a random number uh, you can do some external stuff uh, with fetch as long as you have a URL that pulls data uh, let's see there's actually uh, probably a better need for documentation on this because it doesn't really say how to access all of the fields for this but uh, I'll see if I can maybe do a, a later write-up on it uh, this also accesses the stream title and stream category and at the moment there is no API for kick to change the title or category but you can see what it's currently set to um, you can also have custom counters so that when people issue the command it increases a counter and then increases the number or the incremented uh, output of whatever your command has with the counter uh, you can also do alerts uh, these are a little bit more uh, this entails a little bit more work so I'll probably go over this in a separate video um, but for now I think that should pretty much get you sorted on how to uh, integrate Botrix commands and have everything in your kick chat if you're trying to stream on kick and you just miss your chat commands because livebot app doesn't have the commands uh, working at the moment so that's being worked on uh, but yeah uh, if you uh, like what you see or have any comments or suggestions or questions feel free to put it in the comments or submit them in my community uh, thanks and have a great day